week review video part one week review video part one our objectives is to identify the new lexical items then we apply using these items in the communicative approach new words momentous adjective means very important militancy a noun it's having or showing a desire to use strong extreme forceful methods to achieve something prodigious adjective means amazing wonderful or very impressive language it is a verb and it means to continue for a long time without activity hallowed is adjective and it means holy blessed or highly respected desolate is adjective and it is used to describe people or places it means lacking the people plants animals so if I describe a place of being desolate it means this place is having no living things in it tribulations it is an it is a noun and it is an experience that or experiences that cause someone to suffer so it is the problems and difficulties and things that make you suffer all we call tribulations curvaceous curvaceous it is an adjective and it means having a curved body shape curvaceous it means having a curved body shape promissory note it is um, a noun note is a noun promissory note is an expression and it means a written promise to pay an amount of money before a particular date so redemptive is adjective and it means acting to save someone from error or evil like your redemptive soul your redemptive conscious so that the part from you that asks you all the time to do the right thing and not to go and do bad things sentences number one the teacher asked us to pay attention for the momentous revision so momentous revision it means a very important revision I don't like militancy as a way to achieve goals because using force is not humane. It means I don't like using forceful methods to achieve my goals. I don't like to use force against people in fact. Number three, my friend Fatima gave a prodigious speech and it impressed us all. So the speech was very impressive in fact. Number four, Sure, everyone wants a cute, funny kitty, but adult cats often languish in shelter. In shelters, mean like they stay without any movement inside the shelter. Number five, masjid is a hallowed place because Muslims pray there, so it is respected. It is holy place for them. It was a desolate wasteland except for some grazing sheep so mostly no living thing there only some grazing sheep the tribulations of the first month in milit military helps help people the tribulations of the first month in military help boys to become men like the difficulties and the problem that face the boys when they join the military in, in the first month they help them to be strong and become real men some people prefer curvaceous body they like the curves of the body to appear clearly number nine before we start part two, let's check sense. Did we understand the vocabulary or not? Momentous, tribulation, desolate, language, hallowed, 
prodigious militancy. We need to fill in the blanks using these words. Number one, the teacher asked us to pay attention for the space revision. Of course, it is for the momentous revision. As it is very important revision. I don't like space as a way to achieve goals because using force is not humane. I don't like militancy. I don't like, I don't like using force to achieve my goals. So militancy number three. My friend Fatima gave a space speech and it impressed us all. So it is a prodigious speech very impressive one number four sure everyone wants a cute funny game but all other cats often space in shelters they languish in shelters it means they stay for a long time without any movement number five masjid was a space place because muslims pray there masjid was or masjid is a hallowed place because muslims pray there number six it was space wasteland except for some grazing sheep it was a desolate wasteland except for some grazing sheep desolate wasteland it means a land that has no people animals or anything there any living thing except some grazing sheep Let's move to part two, the speech, the famous speech of Martin Luther King. I have a dream, and it was discussing the real freedom of black people as after the Emancipation Proclamation, like a hundred years after signing the Emancipation Proclamation, and still the black people were not free yet so it was a march a big march like 250,000 people were participating in this march to express their opinion about slavery and freedom how they hate slavery and no more slavery and they desire to achieve freedom for everyone then Martin Luther King gave this important speech The I Have a Dream speech by Dr. Martin Luther King was delivered during the 1963 March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom. He gave the speech at Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. and D.C. it means District of Columbia. This speech expresses King's notorious hope for American America and the need for change. He opens speech by stating how happy he is to be with all the marchers, all the people who were so in the speech. And he I have a dream. This. King the stars. Like this speech was delivered during the 1963, as we said, and he started mentioning like Emancipation Proclamation like was signed a hundred of years ago and still they didn't have their freedom. Then, he said like, America has given the Negro people a bad check, a check with which has come back marked insufficient funds, he said. And he want to explain here like, they signed the Emancipation Proclamation and it is to give black people their freedom but real freedom is not there so insufficient funds the real freedom is not there how come you will give us our freedom it is a bad check like when you go to the bank and with a check then no sufficient funds in the bank you cannot take the money so it is useless and this is a kind of metaphor then he went saying this is no time to engage in the luxury of cooling off to take 
the tranquilizing drug of gradualism okay so he was saying it is not the time to tell us like okay by the following 10 years you are going to achieve that and then by the following 50 years you are going to achieve this this is not acceptable to make it gradual is not acceptable after a hundred years it is time to do or not to do so do it now then he said like he dreamed that the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit on the same table together like here he is asking for real brotherhood between people like uh, I was a slave and I have sons and the owner of me he has son then both of them can sit on the same table this is real freedom for them and also he said I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character so this is his dream that people are judged according what they are not what is the color of their skin let freedom ring he said let freedom ring he was asking everyone to ring the bell of freedom everywhere and he took it from private about only black people to general about everyone saying when all the God's children black men and white men Jews and Gentiles Protestant and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing the words of the old Negro spiritual free at last free at last thank God Almighty we are free at last so this song everyone should think should sing he didn't make it like short only for black people no he like gathered all the groups that are having problems and like are having racism and he mentioned them taking his speech from a specific group of people to everyone all over the world or all over America but he insisted and he reminded everyone that use of force and going after hatred and violence is not acceptable at all he did ask everyone to have patience and ask peacefully for their rights and that was the best part of his speech so this was like a